Look at this airport. Nothing is accidental in its design. For example, these runways. They are oriented north-south. This is not because it looks good or whatever. Actually, it's based on the prevailing wind direction in the area. Specifically, the runways are oriented in a way that allows planes to take off and land in headwinds most of the time. Why? Because planes really like headwinds. Um, okay, uh, here is a short lecture on how planes work. For a plane to take off, the air below its wings must be moving at a certain speed. This number heavily varies by the plane type. But let's assume that for this plane, the required speed is 100 km per hour. If there is no wind at all, the plane will need to reach a ground speed of 100 km per hour in order to lift off. But if there is a headwind with a speed of, uh, say, 30 km per hour, the plane will only need to gain 60 km per hour of ground speed to take off. However, if there is a tailwind with a speed of 40 km per hour, the plane will need to reach 140 km per hour of ground speed to take off. As for landings, it works uh, in a similar fashion. Headwinds allow planes to have lower ground speed, which means a shorter runway is required for uh, landing. This is great because land is not infinite and can be very expensive, especially in cities like uh, New York or Los Angeles. So, for this reason, runways are always uh, rented in a way that allows planes to take off and land uh, in headwinds. For example, this is uh, Charlotte Douglas uh, International Airport. Most of the time, the wind in this area blows uh, either from the north or from the south. For this reason, the runways are oriented north-south. Another example is O'Hare. In Chicago, the wind usually blows either from the west or from the southwest. That's why the runways have east-west and northeast-southwest orientation. By the way, as we're talking about uh, compass directions, let's talk about these numbers uh, on the runways. You've definitely noticed them, and you probably wondered what they mean. Some people might think those are just uh, random numbers, but really, those numbers correspond to the direction of the runway. Take a look at the compass. See that uh, the north, for example, is at uh, 300 160 degrees, the south is uh, at uh, 180 degrees, and so on. So this is actually where those numbers uh, come from. They just drop zero for convenience, and yes, uh, this is what they mean. For example, this is Charlotte Douglas International Airport. As we've learned, the runways at this airport are north-south. That's why here the number is 36, meaning that you're heading north, and here 18, meaning you're heading south. But you probably notice that sometimes there's also a letter next to the number. What does this mean? Actually, it's uh, very simple. In case when there are multiple runways with the same orientation, the letter is added at the end of the number to differentiate the runways. If there are only two runways, the left one will have L at the end, and the right one will have R. If there are three runways, the center one will have C. And if there are even more, uh, let's say 6, then the three of the six runways would, uh, for example, have uh, the number 18 and 36, and the other three will have the number 19 and uh, 37. In other words, uh, the next closest number to the original one. Now let's talk about runway length, because it's also not random. The runway length is determined by local weather conditions, but mostly by what planes will land at the airport. For example, general aviation airports, that's the airports intended for small planes like uh, Cessna have short runways, as these small and light planes uh, don't need that much distance for takeoffs and landings. Commercial airports, on the other hand, intended for commercial aviation, require much longer runways for obvious reasons. Like, we're talking about runways with a length of several kilometers, like, <laughs> really huge. But there's also another thing. The parting planes actually need a longer runway than arriving ones. That's because when a plane departs, it has a lot of fuel, meaning it's heavy, so it needs uh, more distance to reach the necessary ground speed. Arriving planes, on the other hand, are lighter, meaning they need uh, less distance uh, to stop. As you can see, a lot of science goes into the design of something as simple as a runway. Or at least you might think it's simple, but now you know that uh, it's not. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch my other videos too. See you soon. Bye!